some of these things we we think they're they're so elementary that surely it can't apply to me but know this many people think they're found and they're still walking a lost path because there is a way that seems right to a man but in the end it only brings him death we sometimes think we have the answer but there is only one answer and i need to tell you his name is jesus for the average person or, or someone who wouldn't normally be in church, when you say, are you saved, they're going to ask you, saved from what? Sin now separates us. So when we are born physically, we are not born in a perfect state any longer, but we are born in a sinful condition. We are disconnected from God. This flesh of ours wants to fight against the Spirit, and it happens daily. There is a God who loves us enough that in the midst of chaos, in the midst of turmoil in our lives, in the midst of being lost, that He would run after us to find us. Salvation, or being saved, is when essentially we are rescued from being what? Lost. He loves us so much that he provided a way to bring us back to him. He provided a rescue plan that we might once again be in right relationship. And in order for sin to be paid for, really in the Old Testament, there were, I mean, hundreds of laws that had to be fulfilled for sin to be paid for, hundreds of laws. Like, you really couldn't do it all. Yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an impossibility for you to do everything that needed to be done to perfectly satisfy the law. The animals had to be the very best, those that were sacrificed for a blood sacrifice. They had to be the very best, no disabilities, no spots. They had to be perfect. And so then we look to the New Testament and we see that God's final plan for all of us to be rescued from being lost so we could be saved, his plan was that Jesus Christ would save mankind. His only son would die as the sacrifice. Now there is a perfect sacrifice available. It's, it's important that you get that. This is not just about baby Jesus. I mean, it is, but it's not. It's about the point behind baby Jesus. He was perfect with no sin, which means he was able to become a sacrifice that would pay the price for you and for me. His death was the blood sacrifice, perfect, and it made one payment for all time. Everything in your past, everything in your future is covered through the blood of Jesus Christ. You can't get yourself unlost. You have to have a revelation that it's only the perfect sacrifice that can get you unlost. That's how we are saved through Jesus Christ and the blood that was shed on Calvary. Jesus willingly took all of your sin and every sin in this room upon himself that we could be saved and clean and cleansed. And when we remember him through one of the sacraments of the church communion, we're remembering his death and his body being bruised and his his stripes that were bore on his back and the crucifixion, the blood that was shed for you and for me, that he did it for all of mankind because he desperately loved us and he ran in to hell itself for you, that you might be saved. How could you love me that much? How could you love me beyond thoughts that I have sometimes or attitudes I have sometimes or 
my sinful ways, my sinful condition. How can you love me that much, Jesus? I don't get it. I don't comprehend it. Why would you run into chaos just for me? Why would you do that? Jesus completed all that you needed and that I needed for sin to be paid for. So when God looks at you, He doesn't look at a lost son or daughter any longer. He looks at His Son, Jesus Christ, that covers you. But you have to believe it. You, you can't doubt. You can't question. You have to come to Him saying, here I am. I am lost. I do have a lot of stuff that by myself, there's no way I'm finding my way out. So I need a Savior. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. God saved you by His grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Say it with me. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done so that no one can boast about it. See, we all must come to this understanding if we're really going to get it. We are in need of a Savior. You can't do it by yourself. But he says, believe in me, and you will be saved. Watch this. I'm lost. I'm messed up. I'm imperfect. I'm everything I shouldn't be. I confess that Jesus is Lord. I believe it in my heart and in my confession, I now stand in perfection. He saves me, he cleanses me, he changes me, he makes me new, and in that moment, I am perfect. Not because of me, but because of him. I am perfect, and now I am saved. I hope everybody in this room today recognizes your condition without him you need a Savior. That it's not just about coming to church. That you need a Savior. His name is Jesus. God sent him to die for you in your place with his perfect blood. And he made a bridge for you to come across that you might be saved. There is nothing anybody will ever do. There are no solutions out there that are greater than the love of Jesus Christ flowing through his church to impact this world.